want to say welcome back to my layout. I haven't done a lot of videos in some time, so I'm going to do a quick update. So this might be kind of fun. I have a stick with a point on the end. So I'll try this out. It's going to be quick, no fancy editing or anything, but I'm going to tell you where I am and where I'm going and what is going on with the layout. Over the last two weeks, I've done all this work. I will probably show a montage of this at the end of the video. So if you want to stick around and see what has been done in picture form. But this back area here, I usually call the high line behind Salt River Valley Yard up here in front. This is the ox cart branch, or I should say block. The ox cart block runs from the far end of the wall down there all the way down to about here where the signals will be. And it will wrap around behind me across um, the divide bridge, which attaches the old part of the layout to Enterprise Yard, which is located behind you. So that's where we're at right now. I've been working on, besides fixing that up, we have the lift up bridge, which goes in right here. Granted, it's not installed at the moment because I'll be removing all this here in a matter of seconds as I do my more or less daily updates. It'll be short, quick videos. What is going on right now, if you look, and it's hard to see, when I did this, I was not thinking about the fact that the High Line or the ox cart um, branch or block will be here. I painted my backdrops to be level with Salt River Valley Yard. So what has now happened is that the background is actually stuck behind this section here. So I'm going to correct that. I'm going to redo, add more purple mountains up to about this level, put in the hills in the back. This here is a bridge, which is fine because I got to clear this little loop right here. And um, let me show you something really quick. I've been working on these. I probably don't have one over here, but let me look real quick. And I do not have one. What I've been building on the 3D printer is a little wall, which I will show a picture of that too, which will go behind here, which will help split um, the ox cart branch, as I keep calling it a branch, the block from the background. It's a little wall, so it's a nice little, as an example, I'll use that, but it'll, it'll split the area. So today what I'm going to do is I got to remove all this stuff in. It's not fully attached yet. It's just sitting here in place. And I'm going to start setting up to do my paint. I'm not going to show you any of that because I don't want to get my camera dirty. And I got to cover this. Once the new backdrop is painted in, I'm going to actually paint the track down here in Salt River Valley Yard, which will probably be around Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not going to ballast it at this time, but at least it's going to be painted in the yard body itself. I'm not going to worry about any of the actual extracurricular tracks or the um, switches or turnouts, as you want to call them. I'll focus back on getting the cork roadbed laid up here connecting, like I said, the um, drop down bridge, which goes right here. I'm going to end up putting signals. I do have a signal system I purchased years ago. I might as well use it and install it. So I'll get a couple signals here. I'll put some signals down here. There'll be another set of double signals here. And as the um, block wraps around this corner here, there's going to be a Y on the other side where some more signals are going to go. In fact, I will take you over there to that Y. So let's go for a quick walk. And you can see where we're focusing around the corner. Let me walk around here around the corner. So here is where ox cart, the ox cart block runs around the corner. It actually becomes when it goes single track to the ox cart. Um, actually will be Ox Bay as it comes, I messed that up again. It's Ox Cart block around the corner where it goes back to the single tra track, it becomes Ox Bow and will split in a Y that will go to here 
and the other part of the wire will run up to here so we can actually bring the trains back around, down, and into Salt River Valley Yard or run them up on the upper level all the way around through this far helix over here, which I need to work on a little bit more. So that's kind of what's going on. Short, quick updates. When I get the painting done or masked, I might bring you back and show you that. But that's where that is going. In fact, let me turn you around just a little bit more here. As I flip you up. Over here on 72nd Street, we'll update you on that really quick. I haven't done much to it, but I'm thinking about holding a contest. There is nine feet from here to about here on 72nd Street. It's about um, 18 inches high. I'm not very good in stuff like Photoshop. What I'm thinking about doing is asking for you guys to help, maybe some sort of contest, to design a backdrop that will fit back here, which will scale up to, that's a Walters warehouse building, and then scale will scale up to that, that's gonna actually fit up against that back. And um, I might do some sort of contest, design it, something Southwest themed, like Southern California, or um, Arizona, Phoenix area, but a good, nice, realistic backdrop. If anybody's interested in that, maybe start working on that now. If you want to participate in that type of stuff, you know, give it a go. And I'll cover that at another point. And then I'll actually be able to print out the backdrop that somebody designed and have it here on 72nd Street. And you guys can go, hey, I did that for Eric. So that'd be kind of cool. Let me take you back around the corner again. Um, I will be focusing an industry right here on Oxcart. Um, basically, it's a double track up to here. You'll have the two signals sitting here that will control Oxbow around the corner, but you'll have a storage track for chemical cars here, tank cars, and then the industry will sit back here um, where it converts the chemical cars into laundry soap, of all things crystal laundry to so so that's where this industry will sit not a big industry but it will receive tank cars covered hoppers and then it'll ship out the laundry detergent in um, insulated box cars so that's kind of cool and um, I think that's about it for today I'm going to turn you a little bit more as I bang you down here on the floor um, I'll probably be back with you tomorrow with an update where I'm at but for now I should say tomorrow for the next day, or when I get the next update going, I need to pull all this out. I might show um, this stuff removed and stick around for the montage at the end. Telephone's ringing, what an annoying time for a phone to ring. Um, I'm not gonna answer it either because this is an update. It's quick and fast. Um, what, I'm gonna wait for this. Okay, phone stopped ringing. Um, if you like this type of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below because the YouTube algorithm, and I hate this part, I used to not do this, I quit doing this for some time, is brutal. If nobody gives it a thumbs up, if nobody comments on it, thumbs up, that kind of stuff, it does not share it, it just destroys the video. I posted a couple videos lately and they just get destroyed, you know. So if you guys like the stuff, post and comment down below. But again, as always, stay frosty, my friends. I survived that one. Let's see if I can turn the damn camera off.